Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinars, it is King Nidor here and we are coming to you from the wondrous Levere City where today the Candy Hearts are going up against the Cotondo Dustmites and the Dustmites are off to a fantastic start this season. Currently sitting in third place whereas the Livia Candy Hearts are off to a much slower start, currently sitting in 10th. Let us know in the comments below who you think will win this matchup. Will it be the Fairy Types? Will it be the Bug Types? As I said, the Cortondo Dustmites are off to a great start this season, and that includes Vespaquin, who is starting out this matchup alongside Scyther. It will be Blissey, the terrestrializing Pokemon for the Candy Hearts, and Grimmsnarl starting out for the Fairy types. And immediately, Blissey does terrestrialize, shedding that normal typing. It will no longer be immune to Ghost type attacks, but it's now immune to Dragon type attacks. It is going to be the healer for the Levia Candy Hearts, but Scyther with the speed advantage does go first, and immediately with the drop kick does huge damage to Blissey and lowers its attack stat, which is only 10, but still lowers it as a fire punch from Grimmsnarl. Huge damage to Scyther, super effective hit, and Scyther is left with the burn. That is exactly the response the fairy types needed, and Blissey is going to follow it up with an air slash onto Vespaquin. Another super effective hit, but surely should have gone for Scyther, but Vespaquin has flinched. That is a perfect way to shut this Pokemon out of this matchup as Scyther takes damage from the burn. And it goes with the teleport, so it is going to disappear from the field and out in its place will be Heracross with that part fighting typing and a pain split from Grimmsnarl onto Vespaquin actually favors the bug flying type. Blissey though, with the Mac punch with that very quick hit onto Heracross is not very effective doing very minimal damage. But Vespaquin with the Volt switch goes for Blissey. Doesn't do as much damage as Scyther did, but Vespaquin is also gonna go back to the bench and Scyther comes back out onto the field, which means it's gonna still feel the effects of its burn here. It is still the quickest on the field though, so it goes for the dual wing bait onto Grimmsnarl. Good first hit and a very strong second hit there onto the Fairy Dark type. Heracross following it up with the Spirit Shackle here. And it goes for Blissey and Blissey is eliminated already from this matchup. Those very high special defenses and exceptionally high health stat was not much to keep it was not around, so to keep it in this matchup, as a confusion is super effective on the Heracross from Grimmsnarl Scyther, still holding on from its burn, but only by a thread, as it is Klefki now coming out for the Levia Candy Hearts, and Scyther now with the Focus Blast on the Grimmsnarl, gets the elimination, Grimmsnarl is taken out of this matchup, this is a fantastic start for the Dustmites, this is the season they have been having so far, just absolutely bringing it to other sides, as Klefki with the Amnesia here is going to boost that defense, that special defense, a great deal. As Scyther does feel the effects of that burn for the last time in this matchup, it is eliminated here. And now Vespaquin comes back out onto the field for the Dust Mites. And it is Fluttermane coming out for the Candy Hearts. Vespaquin is still exerting that pressure ability that it has as a Dragon Dance from Fluttermane is going to boost that attack. And that speed, it has 135 base speed. It is one of the quickest Pokemon in the Pokestop League. As that bounce connects on a Klefki from Heracross, it's not very effective, but Klefki responds with the Dark Pulse, which is also not very effective on the Bug Fighting type, as Vespaquin going with the Water Spout will hit both Berry type Pokemon. They are able to tank that quite well, but still, a double connection is always good. And we get the tearful look now from Fluttermane, lowering the attack stat of Heracross as well as that special attack, but it has that 125 base attack, which is fantastic. But a spin out from Heracross onto Fluttermane, it's super effective, and Fluttermane is taken out of this matchup. Heracross lowering its speed to do so, but it was surely worth it to get that elimination. A simple beam now is going to get rid of that pressure ability. That Vespaquin has it now has the simple ability, so its stats can go higher and lower, more so than usual. But a Drain Punch onto Klefki, critical hit as well by Vespaquin, is also going to restore some health here, getting itself back to full strength by the looks of things. And it is Dash Bun coming out for the Levia Candy Hearts now, and immediately with the attack order onto Heracross. Not very effective, but is it actually able to get a good critical hit with that? That would explain it being the critical hit, but a synthesis now from Klefki is going to restore its health and that it really needs to do. Speed Advantage is now on the side of the Fairy Types, but a Parabolic Charge 
from Vespicoon gets a critical hit on its own teammate, but does damage to both fairy types as the Giga Drain from Heracross. It's able to get a little bit of health back, taking it from Dash Bun there. And now Dash Bun gonna go for the Brave Bird. This is gonna be super effective on the Heracross, getting the elimination. I reckon that still would have got the elimination, even if Heracross was at full strength as Dash Bun. Does get a little bit of recoil damage, but Klefki is able to follow up with a Fissure, but this will not affect Vespiquen. Not even a chance of connecting there, allowing Vespiquen to go for the Fire Spin onto Klefki. It is super effective, and it's going to do continuous damage, trapping Klefki in that Fiery Vortex. So it is only in this matchup for a matter of time, surely. But it's Cleavor making its debut in the Poketype League as we get a Synthesis from Dash Bun. I cannot wait to see what impact Cleaver can have in this season as it goes for a body slam here on the dashman gets great damage there as well Klefki going with the hydro steam welcoming Cleaver to the match with a super effective hit as Vespiquen goes for the seismic toss and eliminates Klefki from this matchup Vespiquen continues to have a stellar season as it's Hatterene as the last Pokemon for the Levita Candy Hearts and a Gyro Ball from Dashbun, super effective on Cleaver, who tanks that hit really well and responds with a charge. So it is going to begin charging power on the field here by boosting its special defense. Vespiquen now with the Spore trying to put Hatter into sleep, but with that magic bounce ability, sends it straight back at Vespiquen and puts Vespiquen to sleep. That magic bounce ability is a crucial hidden ability that you will see on the home side. But a Zing Zap from Hatterene eliminates Cleaver from this matchup, and out comes Volcarona for the Cortondo Dust Mites, who immediately goes for a Bulldoze, but it doesn't affect Vespiquen, so it's actually a really good play because it's able to hit both Dashbun and Hatterene, but does not do any damage to its sleeping teammate. That's right, it's still up in the air, even though it's sleeping. As a Smart Strike from Dashbun onto Vespiquen, Always going to connect. That's not going to miss Vespiquen, who is still asleep on the field. And now Hatterene goes with the bullet seed. This multi-hit move is going to do minuscule damage, even though it's going to hit multiple times on Vespiquen. But as I was saying earlier, the home sides in every matchup will have their hidden ability. That is how the Poketop League works. Volcarona going for the Water Pledge here onto Hatterene. Gets a great hit there as Dash Bomb with the Giga Impact going hard into Vespiquen who is actually able to take that hit really quite well and does wake up from that move, going with the try attack on the dash bun, who is able to hold on, and we get a block onto Volcarona, so it can no longer escape. Being done by Hatterene, Volcarona though does not mind. It goes with the hyper voice and eliminates dash bun, able to also get some damage onto Hatterene there, but as the Dragon Rush will not affect Hatterene, from Vespiquen, Hatterene now going with the Gastro Acid onto Volcarona, trying to suppress its ability there. Volcarona is going to go with the Thundershock onto Hatterene, and just like that, the Cortondo Dust Mites have continued their strong showing this season, getting their third victory. And they're going to want to continue that next round as they stay in third place. They will be going up against the Moss Deep Mystics. Whereas the Candy Hearts do drop down to 14th place, and next round they will be going up against the Golden Rod Aces. I cannot wait for that. But until then, Nidorinos and Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember you are awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.